Hi guys, it's Otto here from Tom.com and today I'm going to show you how you can use the setting tool to set the end limits of an Alero 868 motor, so a motor that's normally controlled with a remote control. The same procedure also works for a standard wired motor, so the um, roll motion or the roll top for example in the non 868 version. So it works for both, but the special thing of course is that even for the remote controls motors, remote, remote controlled motors, you can use this setting tool. The setting tool is for sale on the site, so if you're an installer or you often work with Alero motors, it can be a worthwhile investment as it's only $44.95. So let's have a look and see how we can set these end limits. Okay, the first thing you need to do, of course, is match the cables. So you need to connect the cables. So blue needs to be matched with blue, brown, and black, same way. So that's something you need to do. It's very easy because you just stick it in and it connects. And of course, I need to plug in the power. And that's something I've done. So as you can see, when I press up, the motor goes up. When I press down, it goes down. So the first thing I'm going to do is to set the end limit, the top limit. Uh, which I'm going to do by <coughs> pressing the up button until the motor is in the right position. That's for me. That's here. And what I'm going to do next is press the down button and I keep holding it until the motor stops by itself. So I press down. I keep holding it until the motor stops, and that's now. So I keep pressing, but the motor no longer rolls down. So that means that the end limit has been set. I can then release the button to make it roll down to the lowest position, which I'm going to do now. So keep pressing the button until the motor reaches the lowest position that I want, which is going to be somewhere aligned with the table. So let's put it here. Now I'm going to do the opposite, which is press the up button, and I will keep holding that also until the motor stops working. So press up, keep holding, the motor will run for a little bit and then stops. And that means that both the end limits have been set. I can check that by pressing up again and see if the motor stops at the position that we've set before. You can see it's on approximately halfway. And you can see my monitor that it's moving up, it's slowing down, and it stops. So I can keep pressing, but the motor will no longer roll any further. So that means that the top limit has been set, and the same has been done with the lower limit. So that's it, it's pretty straightforward. You move in one direction, then press the opposite button to um, set the end limit. Um, and the good thing is that if you don't like working with a remote control, even for the remote control motors, you can just use this tool um, so you're sure that there's a connection with the motor. Now, if you have any questions about this procedure or about Alero motors in general, do let me know. The email address is info.tron.com. For now, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.